certainly do. Okay, hello. Um, <clears throat> Today we are going to have a look at, this is an unboxing video, I'm very unfamiliar with the unboxing video concept because you can see I've already opened the box, but that was just uh, sheer excitement. This box here contains uh, <clears throat> an Atari, well it's not made by Atari, but it's an Atari 1088 XEL motherboard kit motherboard. Um, which was kindly sent to me by Michael St. Pierre, whose address I should probably have covered up before I showed you that. Uh, never mind, too late now. Um, so let us go ahead and open the box. Yeah, he's going to love me for that. He really is. Uh, so in the... Right, we'll turn this around so that you can see. I deliberately flipped the camera, but we'll um, we'll get the stuff out of the box, and then we can. I flipped the camera view so that you you're looking essentially from a right way up on the desk. But so we've got boxes of stuff here that we will go through. Yeah, you, uh, that was a dumb thing to do. Sorry about that. So at the bottom of the box we have the we'll dispense with the box now. Just should have done that in the first place. Okay. So here we are. 1088 XEL and XEL CF2 PCBs. So the reason I, I opened this box, I didn't think I was going to have time to do a video. Um, but I, I sneaked, the, sneaked this envelope open and when I saw what was inside, I immediately closed everything up again because it was so gorgeous. I thought we've got to commemorate this moment on video. So that is the motherboard. Now look at this. We'll just get rid of this padded envelope here. Uh, we've got another package which is... These are the um, compact flash modules. And we can get rid of this. So this, yeah, just, I was absolutely astonished by this because the, the photographs, if we can get it in focus, the photographs that I saw on the discussion thread uh, about the motherboard just didn't seem to do it justice at all. And until you actually see the thing in the flesh and look at this camera issue straight away we should knock this down to 720p perhaps oh, is it going to be okay uh, it's absolutely beautiful um, I don't know how thick the PCB is it's about is it two millimeter I don't know it's pretty thick so that's the top side and there's the solder side and it's just so my wife said when I showed her because she didn't seem too interested at first but I actually showed her the thing and she said that it was um, I think she said it was dainty and it is it's just so cute I mean it's tiny it really is half the size of a an XEGS motherboard so that's the motherboard and as you can see this thing the ultimate one megabyte sits in the middle I've got one here so we can kind of imagine how it's going to sit um, although I have a feeling um, so that's going to sit like that 
these headers must be quite tall uh, if the board's gonna sit there anyway and clear everything so there you go so the ultimate one megabyte is uh, essential to operation it's a mandatory part so we'll have a look in here at these compact flash carrier mounting board and XELCF2 boards these of course will break in half and we'll make these up now I've been told that I'm gonna have some in the post I've also got some uh, pass-through uh, connectors that will allow me to uh, hook up things like VBXE because the if we have a look here the MPBI if you can see that if we lift that up MPBI connector here this is so much easier I have to say with the screen flipped um, has a number of uh, bus signals including VB which is the signal from the VB pin of the ultimate one megabyte which is plugged into the board here um, so we can tap that off should I decide to put a VBXE in this machine uh, which would have to sit around here um, that's how we're going to do it so if I want to use the compact flash module and have a a header which I can uh, pick signals off I need a, a pass-through thing I mean I followed the um, I followed the discussion thread but I, I think sort of at arm's length to some extent because it was just the uh, I didn't really expect to, to ever get one of these things and Michael's been kind enough to send one and he's been kind enough to put my name on the board uh, which I initially disputed because I've, I mean this is way over my head to design something like this and uh, but I was glad to help because obviously the the new ultimate one megabyte BIOS is uh, an integral part of the board and we've got someone in chat biker bob oh there hi flash I want one sell me that one when you're done huh. I wouldn't dream of it I wouldn't I wouldn't dream of um, I've never never sold anything uh, just as an aside I've never uh, sold anything that anybody's given me um, well, what's this here oh this is a, a power supply so this is the power supply gadget UK 164 wow that's, that's nice to see you here blimey how are you doing um, so this is the two pin I've got an adapter for this thing so what's the specs on this power supply um, 5 volt 2 amp oh well that's <laughs> pretty much generic but that's nice to have so there's the power supply I gradually dispense with the bags and things that I don't need I try and keep it neat I've been so busy fixing machines and uh, frantically trying to catch up your software guy flash and we all love your work well that's very kind of you to see Bob Retro Gaming uh, Gadget UK 164 says okay thanks lovely stuff there how much is the kit um, offhand I actually don't know uh, now oh this is something I oh yes this is uh, Michael's ultimate one megabyte board I'm um, not too sure about the price before I continue um, if you head over to um, the Atari Age forum, yeah, it's probably not for sale yet, as Biker Bob says. Um, but if I get some information, I'll put them in the notes on this video. Um, yeah, this board is an original. Is it an original candle? Yeah, it's an original candle ultimate one megabyte, which needs, I think, the CPLD replaced. An offer to do that, so that has got nothing not specifically relevant to this so let's continue to the next bag but this was obviously this was a 
gratis, if as I say, um, and ostensibly in return for the work I've done the bias, which is wonderful. I mean, so the minute I got this thing out of the bag, it just, the whole thing became um, a lot more um, real. And, I mean, once you, you can see the thing, and it, you can imagine it in a little mini ATX case, you know. Yes, the later one is, that's right, the, the later Ultimates are white. And he's even sent me a PS2 mouse, a Logitech PS2 mouse. I mean, that's, obviously the mouse is going to be relevant because of the uh, graphical OS. <laughs> that I've been <coughs> off working on for a few years now um, but it will work uh, with this board so that's going to be nice and I, all, I also need to source or find a PS2 keyboard for this board so we'll put that up there and we're now to the last two bags already obviously we've got also a strip of uh, Logic ICs and what have you um, so we don't need to buy any chips for the board. These are going to be dotted around all over the place when I build the thing. I don't know if I'll build it on camera. Here's a bag of components. It's all through hole stuff on this board. Uh, another bag of components. So we've got all the components that we need for the board. We've got, uh, yes, we've got uh, a MOSFET and we've got... A crystal, an uh, electric, electrolytic cap, a pot, presumably for colour adjustment, a lot of transistors, LEDs, more electrolytic caps, uh, resistor arrays, I presume, unless they're... Uh, what are they? Dee -dee. Oh no, they are capacitor arrays, arrays of capacitors, of course. So, okay, there we go. So there's all the little bits. Hi, Mopes. Oh, oh, man, I wish I had my Rev 1.1. Have I got the Rev 1.1 before other people? That's surely not fair. And this thing didn't take long to get here either. Uh, Michael's taught me what all this stuff is, but it'll all become clear once I start to, to build it. I need to order some sockets uh, before I get cracking. Uh, more chips who knows where they go but I'm sure it will all become apparent when I get started and what's this it's like Christmas oh this is the OUAV board which is another uh, integral part of the board along with ultimate one megabyte I'll keep these bags to one side here because I'll put this stuff back in them. So we're down to the last bag already. So I need, I presume, I'm going to have to get a considerable number of sockets. The trouble is I'm, I'm running low on sockets, unfortunately. Oh, a couple of compact flash adapters, which is rather kind of him. <coughs> I do have some of these, but some of them are modified, so nice to see some more. Mope's just explaining that, yeah, anyone can build the thing, should they wish. So this is a, oh uh, yes, a header. I think this, yeah, so this must be the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's a connector. It all will become clear. I think I'm down to the last um, four or five precision 40 pin sockets in the spares box, so uh, I need to do some shopping. Some more connectors here. Some pins cartridge connector which is going to go here uh, connectors for the ultimate I'm interested to see how the clearance thing is going to work out here oh that's not for that I'm quite wrong about that ah these are the 
uh, these are the taller connectors for the ultimate board which is going to lift the whole thing clear of the PIE chip uh -huh. Uh -huh. so that's presumably our MPBI connector yes uh, we've got video output connector for the back of the board obviously I've got uh, DIN 13 to go in there we have a oh, he's, e he's even sent me a DIN 13 connector I mean that was entirely unnecessary I've got lots of them but it was very nice and very complete just as I would expect from Michael because the when he sent me a a TK2 everything was beautifully labeled and uh, absolutely marvelous so there's the ECI I presume this is an ECI yes other half of the ECI connector SIO connector which is going to go on the back of the board down here <coughs> nice to have that because they're hard to get hold of <coughs> PS2 mouse keyboard connectors here for the back plate that's a good question back plate where, where I did read about the back plate um, but I can't remember where you order them from no doubt I will eventually want to buy one there's the power jack uh, when I get this thing cased up whenever that happens to be that's this thing here joystick oh yes joystick port uh, yeah. Switches, headers, jumpers, audio. Yes. Ah, it all seems to make a reasonable amount of sense. So I need to buy a lot of sockets before I get started on this thing. Um. <coughs> Bet Metal Guy sixty six is not watching this lol says biker bob i don't get it i don't get I'm, maybe i'm being extremely slow i don't get it custom plate has been made but it may only work with the ah oh, reland case i i see so it's yeah so the kind of bespoke um well, that, that makes sense um, and then Michael said that it was uh, certain parts of this have to be put together in a specific order for example uh, you do not want to be putting the pokey socket in before you put the components that go inside of the socket space that makes sense um, aligning these the ECI ports going to be important so it might be worth sticking a assist check or something in there so that it's a good fit that, that all makes sense uh, what we got here yeah hi oh hi joe machine pin strips yeah that's that's an idea um i suppose you could do that how many 40 pin sockets we're going to need six yeah six for this so i've already run out uh got some eight pin yeah i need a few 14 pin i meant 16 pin so i need a few 14 pin sockets and that's not going to take much so six 40 pin precision sockets um i'll probably go with turned pins for the whole board i don't know if that's going to upset anybody but um, I like them unless there's a compelling reason not to, to use uh, double swipe um, sockets uh, oh so Mopes has uh, posted the photos of his assemb board assembly I'm gonna I'm gonna save that link before it disappears that's very kind of you uh, we'll put some stuff back in the bag here because I need to grab the keyboard. Some launch notepad and save that link. Mm -hmm. 
That's going to be useful. So, let's have a read through chat here. So, you're right. That's what I did, slower from China, but they've been working fine. So, you also, Joe used, um, you used the strips. I've, um, I sometimes order these 40 pin sockets from the far east but there was there's a seller in um, the UK who's got about eight for about four quid which isn't too bad I mean you're gonna pay nearly 50 pence a, a socket elsewhere so I might just grab those because I go through them at a hell of a speed um, do the TK2 circuit before the pokey sockets there yeah, that makes sense um, seven Seven, seven what? Seven, seven sockets? Oh, Michael's here. Yeah. Hi, Michael. Yeah, don't watch the, don't watch the beginning where I forgot to black the uh, labels out. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was a noob mistake. Um, I can't keep up here, hold on. This is the first time I've been able to keep up with chat. By the way, um, to those few who um, signed up for Patreon, thank you very much. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, you won't be paying anything until I've got anything worth posting. Uh, I've had a long, another long absence with no videos. Um, so I, I won't be just slapping anything slapdash on uh, through patreon so i'll just move these bags um, but it's very greatly appreciated um so i need to thank you for that so back to chat uh, yeah do the tk2 circuit before uh one has to be double stacked for clearance ah right i've got you so it would be which one which one needs to be double stacked for clearance is it one of the pokey sockets, I presume? Uh, yeah, it's obviously got to be one of the pokey sockets, isn't it? The bottom pokey socket, that needs two sockets double stacked. Got you. Okay. This chat is terrible. How can I um, detach it? Pop out chat. All right, that's better. Let's have pop out chat. <clears throat> this is a bit better. Um... Bottom pokey socket too, so yeah, this is so cool that John did this unpacking presentation, even I'm excited watching it. That's good. Um, Joe says, I haven't used those strips on the 1088 because I don't have one, but the strips cut to size have been fine for my other machines, as well as some customer machines. Yeah, I'm sure that would work out really well. I suppose the only the thing you'd need to watch out for is um, alignment, so probably solder them in with... Uh, with an IC plugged in just to make sure they stay vertical. Um, hello Electron Ash. Gadget UK brought me here, subbed. That's marvellous. Very, very good. I'm absolutely astonished to be getting subscriptions via Gadget UK. Um, hey Mike, also glad I could catch this can't help this uh, this chat window is terrible unless it's my mouse um, can't have too ele many uh, retro electronics channels yeah looks like an awesome kit still don't want to solder the whole thing says biker bob i'm looking forward to it but um i just want to make sure i've got all the bits first um so yeah just need to get a few sockets which i needed to buy anyway uh, i was annoyed because i found a, a pack of about 16 machine sockets 40 pin machine sockets in the spares cupboard the other day and i could have been using those for all these repairs 
instead of uh, rifling through the precision sockets but there you go um, I'm hoping Michael says I'm hoping that John does a step-by-step -step assembly video down the road well I, I'd be if, if anybody actually wants to see the thing assembly put together uh, I'll, I'll do it um, I just wasn't sure whether uh, you know how um, how much demand there was for it but yeah if you if you want me to film putting the thing together sure um, it could be interesting uh, Mope says I don't have a good video camera and I cannot be filmed working swear like I have Tourette's well that's not, that's no problem that's no problem and I haven't got good video cameras either as you can see by the fact that the the webcam freaks out when I put the board near it because I think it's just got too much it's got so much detail in the picture it completely freaks out I went with double leaf sockets for all the small stuff because it takes less precision in the pins to pop them in oh yeah 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 that, that, if that's um, if that's the only reason if there's not a, a more you know um, technical reason um, I'll probably just use the precision sockets that I've got um, I would love to see you do rows of soldering I find I get too sloppy and seeing a better job might help me want to do this the one with the pick chip inside yeah I was fixing the other day um, it's this board actually so this board here oh, well, this belongs to a fella called Dominic and we used this board we stole it was it wasn't socketed we stole all the chips to fix a, a 600 XL which had been pillaged um, and then I said well why don't I put sockets on the board and we can when we get new ICs for it we can get the thing back up and running and I put the sockets in the other day and the thing wouldn't work and I was absolutely convinced that I had a short somewhere on the board and I was going to have to tell Dominic that the ICs that he'd ordered to fix the board uh, were a complete waste of money because the board was dead and it turned out that I'd managed to pick a a dead pokey out the spares box and that was the only reason for that but that one I used double double wipe sockets for that board because I just found them in the cupboard the other day so if I had found them earlier I would have to st I would now have a stash of precision 40 pin sockets but I haven't yet double socket the pokey with the pick chip inside right so that's uh, U7 U7's the pick um, so double socket U6 got you got you um, I mean Michael and I have been having a, a private chat about bits and bobs and he's given me some um, good little pointers but it's collating all this information together so it doesn't get lost in the in you know um, long threads oh, look up that video Mm -hmm. so yes there, there we are there we go um, I thought this would uh, garner a bit of interest I have to say so um, I've got a, a ton of stuff to do I won't have the sockets ready um, I won't have the sockets until next week so I think we'll probably start sometime next week and get the components in and the fact that the fact that there aren't any sockets here will probably uh, help avoid putting things in the wrong order so yeah I just wanted to share that moment um, this unboxing moment of this fantastic looking little board and just have another long lingering look at this board it really is it's just gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous um, so thanks again to Michael um, um, 
for doing the thing. I mean, as you said today, it's taken nine months from in inception. I sure I wish I could complete big projects in nine months. Um, remarkable. Gadget UK164 will be cool to see you build that. A lot of work, but it will be worth it. Yeah, I think it'll. Um, I think it'll come together pretty quickly. Actually, the the the. The time-consuming part will just be making sure everything goes in the right place. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, we'll pretty much bring things to a close. I just wanted to uh, commemorate this moment. Uh, so, as I say, it's a, it's a, it's a pseudo-unboxing video. All I did was take the board out of the envelope last night and had a little look. And then, the moment I saw it, I thought, we've got to film this thing. We have to film it. So, uh, if we are pretty much up to date with chat, it's just been a quick one tonight, but I'll follow this up um, in a week or so, thereabouts. Um, and thanks for all the tips, thanks for all the comments. Um, and, yep, and so I will get out of here now. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully assembling this board. Uh, although we have a an XEGS which is going to get VBXE and ultimate one megabyte so we might have a bit of that as well so right thank you for watching and um, nice to see gadget UK 164 and Michael and others here so I will see you in the next video bye bye for now